Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Jeremiah 17, 14. So, yeah. It's restoration is this week. Last week was, you know, seventh day of rest. This is restoration. So, anyway. All right. Getting into it. This week, did a lot of cleaning this week. Um, cleaning out back bedroom i'm trying to find a better way to store things in my bedroom um i cleaned out my bathroom cabinet where you just kind of go in and throw everything i've got little organizers but i end up just throwing it up there so i cleaned all of that out um i've had a, quite a few days off i had on off the fourth the fifth and then of course the weekend and then today so tomorrow i have to go back to work uh i did finish my little shawl here. I like it. I know you can't really see the colors, but it's got pops of color and I like it. I haven't blocked it or anything. I've literally just woven the ends and, you know, I like to have a prayer shawl on hand and I make those out of acrylic. So this is the two skeins that I got at Joann's and, oops, uh, I think it was five dollars a skein and so yeah it's not <laughs> all right part of it it's not blocked so it doesn't really fold that well it's kind of what it is but anyway so I finished that one got it off the hook um, and then I worked on the quilt um, I got it all rolled out layered had to put the dogs outside it was kind of hot so I had to hurry I got no bubbles I, I'm gonna work from the center out and I've got it rolled long ways from the top and the bottom and then I have it literally folded in so that I can work on one square I got one square done and part of another square done yesterday um, Finding a place to work on it is hard because I guess I need a table. The couch is too low. Um, yeah, this chair is okay, but I probably will end up setting up a table in here and working on it just because. Um, I also fuss with the needles. Um, I've decided to go with an upholstery needle just because that cotton is so dense that I broke one needle and I bent another just trying to use a regular sewing needle. So if you have any ideas of your hand quilter and you have something thick that you're working on, what kind of needles do y'all use? Because um, I also found out that my grandmother's thimble doesn't fit me, so my finger is kind of sore from doing that, but that's okay. I will get it. And my goal is to get one square a day and I can have it done in like 42 days I think there's 42 um things so hopefully I'll have it done here before long and then I'm just gonna use my sewing machine to find it off uh you know what I'll just take you in there I'll show you what I've got done because that none of that really made sense did it so all right I'm gonna take you in the bedroom and show you the quilt okay so I'm hoping you can see this I got this all rolled out, laid out, used some of the sticky tech spray. I literally have this one done and I'm working on this one and I keep it folded up up here. Um, got my supplies there, but it's huge. <laughs> and so it's going to be slow going, but I figure if I do one block a day, or one and a half a day, you know, we're looking at right at a month to get this all done. And then I'm going to put binding on the edge. And I probably will do that with my sewing machine just because I think I can. So anyway, there's the quilt rolled out, layered. It's got layer of cotton. Let's see if I can see. Here's the edge. It's got the quilt, the cotton, and then the fabric, the back so yeah we'll see how this goes like i said i got one done i'm starting in the middle i'm gonna work my way out so anything that's off a little bit 
will be just be off, but I think it's pretty squared up. Okay, so I know the lighting and stuff isn't very good in my room. Um, it is what it is, but yeah, and I got a lot of things stored back there. I tried cleaning some of them out the other day and it didn't work. My totes are too big. I need lots of little totes so that it'd be more organized, but you go to digging for one thing, then you pull out a whole bunch. Anyway, yeah, I need to find a better way to store that. All right. Last thing that I did this week is I started on, um, my goal is to be able to service my own machines. And then when I retire, service machines as a supplement income. So I decided since I'm working and I have the money, I can um, do this. Uh, you guys remember that I... Uh, made my little notebook and didn't know what I was going to use it for. thought I was going to give it away. I am not. This is going to be a little doggy notebook. It's going to be my service notebook. And then I went over to roommate and I went over to Harbor Freight um, one day and I had, uh, I watched the first few videos. I'm sorry. I have an itch. I watched the first three videos um, just on servicing your machine and a couple of the things she went over in those is tools that you would that she uses most frequently and what she likes and so I put together a little kit and I made all the little bags for it and everything it's kind of cute but um so I had fun doing that part of it <laughs> and I'll show you what all I put together so um first I made this little bag right here I kind of wish I'd have made it a little bigger, but my goal was to, as you know, they match, was to have it so that my notebook would go, and I literally made it a little bit bigger than the notebook. Notebook can slide down in there this way or sideways, you know. Um, I did put a couple of taller pockets in there. Let me see. I'm going to turn it inside out. Now, I haven't woven my ends or anything, but so I put a tall pocket in there, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. And then I put in a zipper pocket. So um, I made this after I watched the videos. And I actually kind of followed along and did my sewing machine with it. So, yeah, did that. Um, I'll go over all the things that she said that she was, that she liked and that she did. So first I have this one and I have it so that it'll widen out. I've made this bag. And I made all of this from scraps. So, yeah. I did this. And it widens out in the back. It just folds out. You know, it just gives it that extra poof. It can go really wide. But the reason I did that was because um, some of the things she talks about is the screwdrivers. And she's got little stubby ones. So I went and, and when we were at Harbor Freight, I got little stubby ones. I hope they're the right size this way. I'm not sure. They're the only set of stubbies that they had. So I may look on Amazon to get some more. Um, and then I did find this little thing and it's a little screwdriver as well. And it's a ratchet style, but it will, it's flat. And so it's only the size of the tip. It came with four tips. It's like $2.99. The reason I went to hire for the break is I got all of this for less than $40 plus. I got some things that aren't in this that we needed. So also in this bag, I added the one that came, the little screwdriver that came with my sewing machine, this little screwdriver that came with my serger, and no, this little one came with my serger. This one came with my regular, with my new sewing machine, and this one came with my old one. So, yeah, I put those in there, too. And then the other thing that I did was I got a little magnet, a telescoping magnet. If somebody loses needles down in there, she says that, you know, it'll kind of pick them up, you know, without messing anything up. Um, so then I, that's my screwdriver bag, okay, or my tool bag. And like I said, it's made so that it can go wider if I get 
more in it or whatever. Okay, so there's that. And then I uh, made these and I made this one right here. And this has all my little, now the one thing I wanted to put in here that I don't have and you know, when you go to looking for something, a lot of times you can't find what you're looking for, but she uses pipe cleaners a lot, but I wanted a variety of little brushes, this little brush right here and these right here, these little, and yes, they've got little brushes on the end, very fine little brushes. Um, and then these right here. And then there was a couple of bigger ones. And then this little brush was in there. All soft bristled. And so I got all of these. And like I said, I got this little set at Harbor Freight for, I don't know, four or five dollars. Then um, this is the little brush that actually came with my serger. And I put it in there. Uh, I got these at a paint store and they're uh, acrylic so that you can get down in there and get dirt and fuzz off of them. And they were a couple of dollars. So that is my brush kit. And I'm going to add pipe cleaners into this. Um, she said pipe cleaners are amazing. She uses pipe cleaners a lot because they don't hurt anything. And when you're just sticking in there, not having to do a whole lot, um, then it'll get all the lint out. The other thing that she said was to have a good set of picks. Now I got these for $2.99. Um, they have covers on them. I haven't taken the covers off. You know, the little thingy. I made this little green bag for it. And these are my picks. And again, like I said, uh, I just went to um, Harbor Freight and got all of these. And I think it was like $40. $2, $40, right at 40 bucks, but I got some other things too. So, I mean, it's not like that's all I got. So the, another thing that she touched on was tweezers. Now this set of little tweezers came with my, um, serger. Nope. I take that back. I'm sorry. This little set right here came with my serger. Okay. So, uh, I found these. All of these were like $2.99 and the needle nose ones is the one she said she uses a lot. So I've got all of these and I made this little red bag for them. Yes, I made a bag for everything. And if you look, <laughs> and I put the stuff that came with my sewing machines in it so that, you know, but if you look, I've got all my long bags and that's the long pocket is for is these three right here fit right down in that pocket. So the um I also picked up a little and I made a little bag for it. And this is the stuff the things that go on your vacuum cleaner to make it miniaturized. Um so you know you can put it on a regular vacuum and do the little get in the little crevices and stuff and soak it suck the lint and stuff out and it's a whole kit it's got little brushes and holes and adapters and then it's got little um the one that i like the crevice and then it's also got the angle so i can you know yeah and i can use my regular sewing machine without having to buy some little mini vacuum, whatever. So I have all of those in here and the, I got, I got one thing that she didn't talk about, but I know me. And so I got it. And that is when you take the screws out, she has a nice clean work area with a rubber mat. So nothing, but you don't have that. So I got this little magnetic bowl. Um, I can magnet it, it to my work surface, but my work surface is wood. So it's just weighted, a weighted bowl. Okay. Now I did get the magnet on it just in case my circumstances change. Um, the little weighted bowl is what goes in my zipper pouch. Uh, it is 
the right size for that. And then it zips up and it does add quite a bit of weight to um, my bag. And then all my big tall ones go back here. And that only leaves me with my book, my notebook, okay, and these two little bags to put in there. But I did do one other thing. Um, she said just to get some, like a dry cloth or whatever. I found these microfiber cloths, and for like three ninety nine, I could get twelve of them, and they definitely pick up lint. Um, they stick to my rough skin. They so yeah, I got. I only put four in my kit, one of every color, and I made this little bag for them. So yeah. I did do this extra and the little magnetic thing extra. She she just said a, a rag. She didn't say it had to be anything specific, but I bought those and you know, and then the little magnetic cup. I might find as I go that I don't need all that stuff, but it's nice to have the kit put together. I'm on my third video. Um I I'm gonna do my fourth video um I think today because it is a little bit more in depth and I'm going to drag out my old machine. Yes, I'm using my old machine as a guinea pig. Uh, hoping that, you know, I won't tear anything up. It's mechanical. It has no electrical in it. So that's why I'm using it. And then roommate has an old singer and I'm going to see if I can service it as well and get it running because it's actually not running peak um, pristine condition. So we'll see about that. Um, the final thing. Oh no, I forgot to bring it in here. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I also got my so what box. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, of course, you get the stuff that I, the pattern and all of that and the pre-cuts. So I made this table runner today, or not today, but um yeah it's pretty cute i'm happy with it uh it came in the so what box it was the pre-cut and that's what they did and i actually have it folded up and put back in the plastic thing that they have so if i want to give it as a gift i can um there was extras because their pre-cuts weren't as long as I think it's because I don't use as big of a sewing allowance, a seam allowance. I really think that's part of it. And then, of course, you got the needles, thread, the pattern. Those are all going to my daughter. And then I got two um, other fabrics. And I did decide to cancel this um, subscription. Number one, the project they say they take an hour. I literally whipped that sucker out in about 10 minutes. They're just not, you know, they're great for Tori. She's got the six patterns that we were really excited for six months. Um, so yeah. And then they just send these little fat quarters, which I have to find small projects to do with, you know, they said, Oh, you can do another table runner. Well, no, <laughs> cause you gotta have more than that. But anyway, and this is funny because this is the same fabric. It's got the little white flowers on the back. Um, I know you can't see it on here, but it's white on white and it's got like the little white. Let me see if that's going to help. Not really. Okay. So anyway, this is the same material I got for the back of the quilt. And now I have a little, um, <laughs> what do you call it? Fat squat, fat quarter of it. And then, this light denim stars came with it. So I did do that. Other than that, I've literally been cleaning. I found some time to make some bread. Yesterday I was sick, so I didn't get hardly anything done, if that makes sense. I just, I had a headache, sinus headache. These clouds moved in, the hurricanes moved in, and it is what it is. Um, I will say this, I'm concerned that uh, when we get old and gray, roommate may not be able to tolerate me for very long. 
after about four days, roommate was just like, because I'm always having to do something. But roommate's mother came over, okay, and I wasn't feeling well, and I said, oh, I need to get these dishes done. Roommate goes, just let it be. It'll be fine. You know, I, I'll go in there and do them later. Don't worry about it. I said, yeah. So we sit down. Roommate mother was having trouble with her phone, and I'm her go-to gal to fix her phone. She had downloaded one thing that uh, uh, downloaded all these other things, and then it popped up ads on everything, and she had all these news things on there. Kept popping up. Her phone never shut up. Like, it ding, 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 notifications. Everything was turned on, and she, so she brought her phone over. I turned off all notifications except for text, email, and something else. I can't remember. Uh, the things she needed. Oh, calls. You know, and then there was something else. But anyway, so she gets all of those notifications. Um, but she doesn't get all the other little things. She had played a game, and then one game led to another game. I took off all the games off of her phone. And she now understands why we don't play games on our phone. And uh, she's got a laptop. She can play them on there. Uh, but anyway... The first thing she sits down and she looks up and now keep in mind roommate and I do not have a dishwasher okay this is a dishwasher right here and uh, she looks up and she sees the dishes from where I made homemade bread made breakfast made everything and I just kind of let them sit on and they were all Saturday's dishes and this is on Sunday and Sunday I didn't feel good and she looks and she says what the dishwasher broke now she knows we don't have a dishwasher this is her house she knows we don't have a dishwasher. And uh, I just looked at her. I said, no, I just didn't feel good. I made some bread and blah, blah, blah. She's, oh, well, it'll get done in time, I guess. Yeah. Roommate's the one that said, I'll get to it here in a little bit. I said I'd do it. And roommate was like, no, it'll be fine. Yeah. Of course, then I have to put up with the remarks. Anyway, it is what it is. I got them done, though. They're done, put away. Everything's good. did find a dead mouse in the back of the of a cabinet that we don't use very often. It's got different pans and stuff. And I dug out my bread pans. And I have two glass bread pans. And they're right near the bread pan. It was a dead mouse. So, bleh. took care of that, cleaned everything up. And so, yeah. Anyway, so it's been quite the experience. I don't know that roommate and I won't kill each other. Just, we're both old and set in our ways. That's just the way it is. So, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we like the setup for now, so we're good. <laughs> but I just, you know how you get older and you start to doubt. And I need to get the tiny house finished. My mind has been, that quilt is definitely for the tiny house and I've been trying to gather stuff and get that done so that when I do get out there and get to work on it I just put it together um I know what steps I'm going to take first and go from there so just haven't had time to get out there and get it done um and then when it does it's been rainy you know off and on with the hurricane and too hot it's either downpouring rain or it's hot like 110 so yeah all right i'm gonna get off of here you guys have a great week um i guess i will talk to you later thanks for watching bye